I'm Dr. Joe Hiblin, and I'm a psychiatrist and a nutritional neuroscientist. I worked for 28 years at the National Institutes of Health on the role of omega-3 fatty acids. The whole process of evolution and making a next generation is really dependent on adequate omega-3s. So one of the reasons that eating enough seafood and uh, other delivery systems of omega-3 are so important in pregnancy is that our brains and therefore our minds are literally made of fats and lipids and 10 to 20 percent are omega-3 fatty acids that can only be obtained from the diet. So if you don't eat it, your brain doesn't grow. It's basic physiology and basic construct of the neurons. We know that when women don't eat fish in pregnancy, for example, if they follow the current dietary guidelines and eat less than 12 ounces of fish per week, it doubles the risk that their children have low IQ because they're getting an inadequate amount of supply of omega-3 fatty acids. But it goes beyond um, IQ. We have data that there's children having much worse social interactions and pair bonding. The data were pretty clear, and we first described this in our study of pregnant women and their long-term effects on the kids that we did in England, the Allsbach study. And there was a dose response between women eating less fish in pregnancy and greater risk of impulsive and behavioral problems in their children at four years of age and at seven years of age. Greater impulsivity, greater aggression. So kids have worse social interactions, they have worse IQ, they have more impulsivity, they have more disruptive activity, all because their brains were not uh, formulated right when they, were, when, they, when they were in the womb. Think about a brain that is entirely dependent on adequate amounts of omega-3 fatty acids that can't be made by the mom and can't be made by the baby to have an adequate brain growth. And you know, you only have one chance to get it right. Like when you're building a city and you develop it from the ground up, you put in the major roads and you put in the tributaries. And if you don't get the major roads in right the first time, you can never correct it fully in the end. So when there's an inadequate dietary supply to the baby, there's many lifetime long consequences to that baby's developing brain. So women, I think, should be eating at least a minimum of two fish meals a week, if not more. And the data that we have for from looking at more than 200,000 pregnancies is that even at the highest amounts of fish consumption, fish breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there's only improvements in baby's IQ and baby's neural development and um, success rates. There's no upper limit of how much fish uh, can be consumed.